Hi guys, Willie Mandrell with the Mandrell Company, and I'm going to go over briefly with you uh, sell, the selling timeline. Um, and this applies, I, I think, again, I've never sold real estate outside of Massachusetts, but I know this applies to uh, the state of Massachusetts and um, the way we do business here. Your typical selling timeline and why it's important to you as a potential seller, uh, if you're selling a property, you really need to know, you know, what's the next steps? What am I looking forward to? How soon? Do I need to move out of this property? How soon do I need to turn over to the keys uh, to the new buyer? And that's what I'm going to try to uh, to lay out for you. Hopefully, it's pretty clear uh, through my uh, timeline sketch here. Uh, so, when you first put a, a property property on the market, and you tell your realtor, "Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, you know let, let's sell this property," the first thing that your realtor is responsible for doing is marketing and selling the property. So, your realtor is going out and they're putting the property, uh, you know, on the MLS. On Zillow, on Trulia, these different marketing websites, they're putting it on their own company website. They're going out there and they're they're uh, you know doing open houses, doing private showings. They're trying to find that potential buyer for you. Uh, and once that potential buyer is found, uh, and by found, we, what we mean is someone who a potential buyer has seen the property through an open house, through some type of marketing venue, and they've now placed an offer on the property. Your realtor at the time of receiving that offer is going to come to you. Uh, they're going to uh, negotiate uh, with the potential buyer on your behalf to get the, the highest sales price with the best terms possible. Uh, once you, the seller, and that potential buyer have agreed to a price, agreed to terms, uh, we call that uh, day one. That is your uh, offer to purchase date. That is the day that the offer or OTP is has been accepted. So that starts your timeline. You have agreed to sell for a particular price, the buyer has agreed to buy for a particular price, uh, which starts your 45 day approximate timeline. From there, in a typical situation, your buyer is going to go into their 10 day home inspection window. Um, most offers are submitted with a 10 day standard 10 day window, and this allows the buyer to now enter your property, enter your tenant units, enter your, if it's a multifamily, uh, and enter the property to inspect the, the home uh, with, a, with a licensed home inspector, with a contractor, to make sure that the, the, the systems are working, to make sure that the roof is okay, to make sure that the windows operate. They're going to do a full inspection to make sure that the property is what was being, uh, is truly what was being presented to them uh, and is good in work, is in good working shape. Uh, at the end of that 10 day period, you can go, or the buyer uh, per se, it can go in a couple different ways. The buyer can say, I love the property and I want to move forward. That's what we hope that the buyer uh, does. The buyer can say, there were some things that I didn't really agree with uh, at the potential property. Um, this is not the right property for me. I'm going to back out uh, of this uh, transaction. Or the buyer can say, yes, I like the property, but the price that we agreed to on day one, I don't feel like that price is appropriate any longer. The heating system is not working the way it should be, or it's working, but it's, it's much older than I anticipated. The roof is, it's fine, but it's much older. It's 20 years into its life, it needs, it's gonna need to be uh, replaced. Uh, so the buyer has uh, three options. Either back out, move forward, or renegotiate after that 10 day, 10 day period. So they've done their home inspection, let's say hypothetically re renegotiated, uh, and you both, the seller and the buyer, have come to a, uh, an agreement on price. After that, uh, you as a seller, the buyer, would both hire attorneys and you would go into what's called the purchase and sales contract or PNS. Uh, and what that does, it solidifies the deal. It puts all of the offer information and the final price uh, with the terms into a, 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 a nice um, contract that the attorneys can use um, and uh, um, helps us move forward into the sale with a more concrete um, you know, contract than the offer and purchase. The, the buyer is also going to put down a larger deposit this time and say, yes, this is the property that I want. I'm now going to pursue my mortgage. So you've had day one, you've had your home inspection period. We've renegotiated the price. We've gone on, we've hired two attorneys. We've gone on to purchase and sales. Um, the buyer is moving forward. The seller is moving forward. Now for you as a seller from that day 15 to day 45 is about a 30 day window. Well, um, I'll describe to you a little bit about what the buyer is doing. The buyer is in this particular situation is uh, putting their mortgage together. The more they're going back to the mortgage company and they're saying, I found the property that I want. I'm submitting my taxes now. I'm submitting my, my other documents. 
um, and the mortgage company is processing all that information to make the distribution uh, to pay you for the property uh, and to put a lien on the buyer's property. You, on the other hand, you are the seller are working with your realtor to do uh, three main things. One is the bank uh, of the buyer is going to send out an appraisal, uh, an appraiser to appraise the property to make sure that the property is worth um, the amount of money that you uh, have agreed upon. Your realtor is going to make sure that the appraiser has access to the property uh, and that the appraisal is properly done for the bank. The realtor, your realtor, is also going to work with the uh, local fire department to make sure that you have a smoke certificate. Anytime a property is being sold, uh, the property needs to come with uh, a certificate uh, from the Boston or local municipality uh, saying that the smoke detectors are in working order. Uh, and your realtor is going to help you cover that. And you also have to get a final water reading. Uh, what are you paying for water bills? Um, at the closing day, you want to make sure that all your water bill, all your water bills have been paid. Uh, and leaving the new buyer, uh, the new owner of that home with a clean balance, a clean uh, water uh, lien with the uh, local municipality or local water department. Uh, day one, day 10, day 15, uh, and then finally we get to day 45. Sometimes there is delays depending on holidays. Uh, sometimes it's bumped up depending on if the buyer can uh, submit their mortgage documents sooner. Uh, but it's typically a 45 day timeline from the time that you receive that offer to the time that you get to closing day. At the closing table, you would exchange keys with the buyer. Uh, the buyer, you would get the check from the closing attorney for the balance, uh, assuming that your, your, your mortgage will be paid off, all the liens will be paid off on the property, uh, and whatever is left over, um, you would receive as the potential seller. So again, uh, in your, in your, when you're selling a property, you typically have about a 45 day timeline from the day that you receive an offer or offer to purchase is accepted to the day that you close uh, and a new buyer is now the owner of that potential property.